Hey, good morning. Man, I hope you've got some big gloves because it's chilly out there today and windy. That's cool though, because I've got some big news. If you love short films and if you love watching short films or making short films, you're gonna love this news. Um, uh, so put on your big gloves and let's go for a ride. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I'm just a dude on a bike, trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a rider, poet, and human being. It's good to be on the ride with you this morning. It's kind of chilly out here, isn't it? Whew. Hope you got on your big gloves, man. <laughs> hey, good morning. Hey, so as we said, I've got some big news that I'm super excited about. Let me start at the beginning. Back in 2008, or nine, I don't remember now, had a buddy named uh, Rich Chapone. He's a writer up in Alaska. Uh, we were living up there at the time. And uh, he had a short story. He's an amazing short story writer. Water of an undetermined depth. Highly recommend that collection, especially to dudes, guys, I mean, because um, it really, really gets it kind of the every man, uh, like everyday men in everyday situations and uh, what that means. Um, and he's, a, he's just a brilliant writer. Super funny, too, man. He's really funny. So Water of an un Undetermined Depth by Rich Chapone. Highly recommend. But one of his... Uh, <laughs> one of his short stories was called Raccoon. And some folks uh, adapted that into a short film. And uh, I found out about it at the Kachemak Bay Writers Conference up in Homer, Alaska. Hanging out there one summer. Whew. Oh, it's windy and cold, man. Out of breath. Sorry, folks. Plus, I worked on my bike all weekend. <laughs> Nothing is different. Only I have no back brakes. Not only did they not work, I just took them off. I meant to put the other ones on, but didn't have time because i got to switch out the handlebars. It's a big thing. I'm not going to get into it. So... They adapted Rich Chapone's story named Raccoon into a short film. And it took me a, a little bit of effort to find the film. And I thought, you know, there's a lot of people up here in Alaska that really dig Rich. And maybe we should do a little film festival of all films based on literature. Like films based on short stories and poems and such. Woo, baby. We haven't hit the wall in a while. <laughs> I wonder why I have broken axles all the time, right? <laughs> so Jennifer and I watched a ton of short films based on poems, based on short stories, based on novels or plays. And uh, we presented them at our house up there in Anchorage in, uh, in our living room. And I don't remember. We had about around 18 people, 20 people, something like that. Just sat on the floor. Most of the people just sat on the floor on pillows and stuff. It was a hoot, man. We watched three sets of films, about half an hour each. And then we'd get to talk about the films in between. Uh, everybody brought some food. It was so great. So we thought, we got to do this again. That was really fun. And so we did it again. And we've done it again and again and again. And so we've been doing these little tiny film festivals at our house for about 10 years now. And we did one back in November, 2019. And uh, we found some especially good films. I gotta say, we got lucky with the, uh, what we were able to run across, you know, cause it's hard to run across short films. I mean, it's getting easier, but uh, it's hard to run across short films. And like, if you wanna just sit down and like say, I want, a set of short films that I know someone has put together and it's gonna be good. That's like almost impossible. I used to have this uh, DVD uh, <clears throat> subscription and like once every, what was it, twice a year, three times a year, something like that, they'd send a DVD around of short films. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. It was really amazing. I don't remember what it was called. <clears throat> <laughs> this was a long time ago, y'all. Anyway, I liked that. I liked that a lot. You know, you've, 
you had someone that curated these films for you and you got to see them. Well, we're doing the same thing, Jennifer and I, after this last film fest, uh, tiny film fest in our living room, what we decided to do, hey, good morning. Boy, that's a beautiful bike. I don't think you heard me, but that was a beautiful bike. <laughs> so we were hanging out with the Boise fam, the Boise family, uh, the next day over at Cinder Winery, and we were, man, people were, we were all talking about the films that we liked the best and the ones that were the weird ones. Because we always like to throw some weird things in there. They're just lyric, just beautiful cinematography, beautiful music um, that maybe aren't figurative or aren't uh, narrative in a sense of storyline that you can determine a plot from. I better ride with my hands, man. It's windy. <laughs> we were sitting there that Sunday afternoon and just kind of came up. Hey, good morning. Why don't we, why don't we take this to the next level? Because we had, we, we were only able to get 22 people in our living room here in Boise. And we had like 10 other people that we really wanted to invite. I'm sorry, y'all, that didn't make the list. Uh, at some point, it really was kind of throwing darts to decide who we were gonna invite. I'm sorry. This is the, those darts, man. Maybe that's how they should do the Academy Awards. Whew. Oh, sorry, I'm so out of breath this morning, guys. Anyway, that afternoon, the idea for the Sunset Grove Film Festival was born. We launched our website and started talking publicly about it last week. So I was very excited to ride with you this morning and get to tell you about the Sunset Grove Film Festival. It's a short film festival. And our first event is April 18, 2020 here in Boise, Idaho at Beside Bardenay. Our next event is June 20, which is summer solstice. We've got some surprises for that one that I can't talk about just yet, but uh, it is going to be a very cool performance, that's for sure. So if you're into short films, if you like watching short films, if you like making short films, either way, check out sunsetgrowfilmfest.com and uh, sign up so that you can be notified when we're gonna start selling tickets. My guess is it'll be around February 13th. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so much to do before then. I'm so excited. But seriously, if you do know any filmmakers, short filmmakers, <laughs> filmmakers that make short films is what I mean. I've heard that Martin Scorsese is a short filmmaker. Doesn't matter, he makes huge films. I don't mean in length, I mean in breadth and scope of the expression of humanity, which is what we're kind of looking for. We're looking for uh, basically films that inspire wonder, and uplift the consciousness of the people of the planet. That's what we try to do with our film fest is we want people to leave feeling like we're gonna be okay for a little while, you know? And I think that that's the, for me, that's the power of art. And for me specifically, I'm doing a deep dive into film the last couple of years and uh, that's where I'm finding a lot of, a lot of meaning, meaningful, expression of humanity for today. So you can help us a ton by letting filmmakers know we've already got submissions from, from Russia, from Iran, from Denmark, from England, uh, I think from France, a lot from the United States too. Basically all over the world we're getting submissions already. But we definitely need a lot more to choose from in order to put together a lovely evening for you. So please do check it out, sunsetgrowfilmfest.com. Let us know what you think. All right, folks, that is it for me this morning. We're getting on campus and getting, in, and getting into some traffic here. Hey folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. 
and uh, whatever that bicycle may be. If your bicycle is making short films, I hope that you get a chance to be on that ride today. If your bicycle is watching short films, I hope you get a chance to be on that ride today. And if either one of those are true, I hope that you get to ride with us in April and June. And then again next season, which will start in October, we'll start accepting films probably sometime this summer. But I really do hope to see you there. Hey folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Hope that you enjoy your ride today. It is the only one we get. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. That really helps me out a lot. Maybe subscribe. That'd be cool because then you get notified every time a new one comes out on Mondays and Thursdays. Plus, there's gonna be so much good news.